Dennis Franklin Cromarty High School of Thunder Bay, Ontario, established in 2000 by your parents, elders, and chiefs to give you an opportunity they didn't have to attend an all-native high school. We unite students from reserves all over Northwestern Ontario to strive towards a common goal of cultural identity and academic excellence. I come from Sand Lake. Round Lake, Wagama Lake. My reserve, I came, there's about 1,200 people. Leaving home is hard. Everyone has a different story, but you are not alone in how you feel. It was my first time coming here when I came in 2011. And first time I was scared and I wondered how it would be like in high school and, and like how would the people be, how, I w how would I get treated, would it be like my old school and all that. It was hard, it's like really hard for me because I love my family and I love my, my brothers and my sisters. I think about my nieces and nephews and I want to be like a good role model to them and do the best I can to set a good picture for them. We understand how difficult it can be. That's why we have a supportive boarding home program and our faculty and teachers are committed to making you feel comfortable and welcome here. We even have a ride program that patrols after hours to ensure the safety of our students. We pride ourselves on our family atmosphere where students and staff work and play together. Yeah, my first year is here and I was pretty comforted and welcome. Yeah. I felt that way about it. The teachers are cool and we can talk to them like as if they're our friends. They contribute so much even after school hours. I can't even pick one out of the crowd. All of them contribute so much. The positives are that uh, you're, you're with your own kind and that you can feel more comfortable being with people that you know and that you want to know because they're the same culture as you. Here there's more freedom, more stuff to do, more people to talk to, and more activities. Working hard towards getting an education is important, but we believe playing hard is just as important. That's why we take group trips to play laser tag, paintball, go shopping, bowling, rock climbing, and to the movies. We keep a gym and weight room open and offer plenty of activities and clubs to get involved in, such as the Native Languages Program, Traditional Arts and Crafts Club, Student Council, Drama Club, Writers Club, Cooking Club, Travel Club, a music program with a jam room, a martial arts club, and many more. We also offer sports to be involved in, such as volleyball, soccer, badminton, cross-country running, track and field, basketball, and hockey. Even our curriculum features activities, culturally based, such as Aboriginal cooking and arts and crafts. We also have Cultural Week, an entire week dedicated to the participation in cultural activities and celebration of Aboriginal culture through hand drumming, wood carving, beadwork, animal skinning, and traditional cooking workshops, as well as a powwow. That's how we lived back a long time ago. So that's how we got our food and stuff like that. Our teachers and elders are dedicated to providing the best possible education and want for that education to help you live a good life and to take pride in who you are. Some Native teachers in the elders program here to keep, or keep and teach our tradition and culture alive too, so we can know about it too. Well, they're trying to be more re relevant for our past and they respect where we come from. They've given us the opportunity to expand our knowledge through the teachings that they give us. And it gives us understanding of how college is going to be in the future. Well, having my high school diploma is definitely something I want to keep in my back pocket. I just want to graduate and go to university or college and maybe become a nurse. Um, what are you looking forward to most about graduating? Probably like seeing how many people I made proud. Become all you can be at Dennis Franklin Cromartie.